Hey, welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Our next conversation is about security consciousness. Now, in the light of all the farmers ahead of clashes in the country, the Oshun State Government says it's developing a novel way to tackle insecurity. And it says the reason for this basically is to preserve lives and property. And this new way they're advocating is to capture the data of all herders in Nigeria or in Ocean State. And that's the herders of Fulani Alboro descent. So Fulani Boro herders in Ocean State uh, would have their data captured and they would have identity cards uh, to basically ensure that there's more security in Ocean State. And we've invited a security and public affairs analyst, Mr. Mac Adebayo, to discuss that with us. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, how do you take the news that the Ocean State government will begin to register and capture the data of Fulani Boru headers in their state? It is a cowardly waste of time and resources. Very, very cowardly. You know, there are some governors in this country, especially in the South, who are so desperate to satisfy the presidency at the expense of their own people. You know, um, I don't know what an ID card will do for a killer adder. Of what use is that going to be? It's absolutely useless. It's, it, it has nothing to do with protecting the rights and properties of of our people. And please, let me correct this very, very wrong impression that the media has helped the killer Adam to sell to the populace and to the world. There is no farmer Adam clash. You cannot say somebody who is in his farm working with hoe and cutlass is clashing with somebody with AK-47. It is not a farmer Adam clash. It is harder terrorism. Hmm. So, so let us know that there's no clash. Right, there's no clash. Ms. Somebody is in his farm, walking his farm. Somebody goes there to attack him. You are asking that they clash. Like uh, our dear hero, late Ninka of the Majesty. You cannot say that the terrorism and violence of killer Adam is like a two fighting between farmers and others. Meanwhile, the killer others do not limit their violence and bloodshed and terrorism to farms alone. They go into towns and villages and cities and ravage the oblates. So it is the violence and terrorism of killer others versus the rest of us. All right, All right Mr. Debayo. Let's always straight, straight forward what it is. The killer others are terrorists. If you tell people, because not All right, Mr. So, I want I want us to hold on, please. I, I want us to go back to Oshun State um, and talk about you know this move once again to give identity cards and registration to uh, uh, the Fulani headers over there. Uh, do you think it might at least be able to give the state government an idea of who and who you know in the state has cattle? Um, so they can be held accountable, you know, if there's challenges. And, of course, it, it makes it easier to point out those in the uh, states uh, that are the illegal. The, the audio is uh, somehow muddled up. All right, can you hear I me? I didn't get the question. All right, can I'm, you hear me now? I'm, I'm hearing, but it's, it's, not, it's not clear. All right, I'm, I'm trying to find out, you know, your views on... Ocean State government being able to register um, uh, the Fulani headers and recognize them so that whoever else that walks around the state with cattle that doesn't have identity can be seen as illegal. Well, that's where you see them. It's where you see them that uh, you accost them and ask for their identities. Those who are going to kill people and rape people and destroy farms and destroy cities and carry out terrorist acts against sedentary populations in the South are not going to move in the day, in the daytime. They always carry out their atrocities at night. 
So it is those you see that we are caught. It is those you see you ask for, their, so for them to identify themselves. Ah, uh, well, we have more than uh, I'm sorry to say, but it's, it's a very foolish idea. You say you are banning open grazing. Ban it. Simplicita. Ban it. Stop the, the, the movement of animals across our cities and villages once and for all. And then we move away from this nonsense. People have been killed, people have been raped, cities have been raised down, and all you do is we want to identify you. Just give us, we will do the time capturing, we will do this, all, all this nonsense. Why are people actually dying? The identification process is a waste of time. You know, like I said, the governor and the some of the governors are so desperate to please the president because the president himself is a harder. And you heard him say that on live TV yesterday that governor came to meet him in Abuja and he told them, go back and fix the problem by yourself. You are elected to fix problems, don't look for somebody else to fix your problems for them. But this is a cowardly, you know, a very cowardly way of trying to escape responsibility of the part of the state. Of the state government of promotion. ID card or no ID card, these guys will continue killing and raping and destroying and maiming people. They will continue kidnapping. The whole world, the entire world, except the Nigerian government under Buhari, recognizes the killer Adam as the fourth deadliest terrorist all over the world. In Nigeria, they have refused to categorize them as terrorists because the president is interested. In keeping the violence going, I let go to say so. Even yesterday, when he was being asked questions about this open grazing, he said he has given instructions, he has ordered that they should go and bring in the, the gazette and train the old, outmoded, outdated grazing roads. And if there's anybody who has a coach upon the grazing route, they will be removed whether it's in school or hospital or anything. Now we have a president who lived in, in the 1940s, in the 1930s. Grazing Roots in 2021, he, 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 just, he just wants to create more crisis. Okay. So I'm not going to allow anybody to remove my house saying that uh, I am on Grazing Roots or my school or uh, my investment. But why you see that the, 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 oh, everything about this president is about Katu and Katu others. Mm. Everything about him, everything, in all, what has dominated our life and policy in the last years has been killer Adam Menace, nothing else. Okay, so, so Mr. Makadebayo. He brought water resources, we said no. He brought all kinds of things, he brought a uh, uh, Katu colony, we said no. Now he's saying that you will go back to the, to the old, outmoded, outdated grazing rules. Okay, Mr. Adebayo, we'll talk about that in more detail much later. But regarding the concern by the Oshun State Government to have an identity, you know, for these herders, you know, so that it can easily help in security tracking, how about the national identity numbers? You know, we had a nationwide, you know, uh, registration for that. And even if these people are foreigners, the NIN requirements had said that if they're staying in Nigeria for more than two years, they should register for NIN. So why don't you think the Oshun State Government is focusing on NIN registration for herders instead of a, a totally new registration? He, he, do, he wants to, he's looking for support He doesn't want to make the president angry. But this president has, has uh, oh, according to him, that we, 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 over 300 years of cows. But those cows are ranched. They are in his farm. They are not moving about. They are not going about their ranch. They are in his farm. And he said yesterday when he retired, he's going to back, he was going back to that farm. But you see, if, I want you to look at the hypocrisy of this government. The Oshun uh, identity uh, program is just to buy time, just to waste of time. They don't want to insulate the presidency. That's all. The governor is looking for several time. You know, you know, they didn't attend the Asaba mention of certain of that, of that, of that governors. It did not go. Now, he just didn't want to be, to, to, you know, get the president angry. That is it. How I wish we have more governors like uh, Samelotto. How I wish we have more governors like if that are your daily biology, who will take no nonsense? Who will not submit or surrender the lives of his people for cattle to live? 
Good, good question there, Mr. Adebayo. See, when we look at this whole situation regarding identity card, Oshun says is not the first to, to, to be saying this. Delta State has said, you know, earlier in 2019 that they were going to issue identity cards to herders. Ebony State said this earlier in about February that they were going to issue identity cards to herders, but that was, the, that was all we heard of it. Oshun State government is saying this now in June 2021, but don't you think that maybe they have a different spin on it? They'll be different from Delta and, and Ebony. So, well, I, I don't see anything different. Those two things you mentioned have come out of ban open grading as tragedy. They because they discovered the futility of issuing identities to terrorists. You know, that they, 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 they discovered that it's useless, it won't do anything, it won't protect their people. People have continued to be killed and maimed in a bullshit. In a massive way. Look at government chairman in Delta State last year. Came out and removed all the adults of the bushes in his local government. He issued an executive order. That was that was the local government chairman. Not governor, not very deep. But he came out that people are dying. He did not care whether he removed. He did not care whether uh, anybody in the EMPC or the will send anybody after him. In fact, the executive order said, look, our bushes, we are rescuing our bushes. What's happening to our governors in the southwest? Yeah, uh, Mr. Debai, what, what would you suggest um, that governors should be able to do in their individual states uh, to protect their people. We, we've tried the Amotekun um, 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 uh, idea, but you know that didn't or hasn't seemed to you know completely read the southwest of these uh, killings. Uh, the southeast, of course, has Ibubeagu. So, what would you what would you suggest that every governor should be able to do uh, in his individual states, and also? Why does Nigeria seem to not want to take the same Twitter route with regards headsmen? Let me answer the last question first. Why we Nigeria is reluctant to deal head on with this uh, other members? It's because we have a president who is the last patron and who whose body and focal language is are uh, very clear that it is the people's culture and you cannot stop them. When you say they are killing, the president says they are from outside the country. But all the same, you still want to open up all the routes for, for foreigners, for foreigners who are killers. But most of all, he said he asked the Bolivian governor, who are these that uh, uh, Boko Haram terrorists? He said they are Nigerians. But when it comes to killers, they are foreigners. Look at their focus. There is no sincerity on the part of the president. You know, look, my biggest problem with this government has been the, is in support for killer Ada. Now, you see what the state can do. That's why I said we need like six state governors in the Southwest who are your delivery or chief. Who we need from the front. You, 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 you run your cow through my town, we capture the cows. We kill them, slaughter them, and share the meat. We send you today. That is how you deal with your shit. Whether, whether you are greedy with your policies or not, you was able to protect you. You brought out the other, go after every other you see, either in the city or in the farms. That is the governor. That is courage. That was that was patriotism. That was humanism. So look, I was, look, the primary purpose of government shall be the welfare of the people and the protection and security of property of the people. If he went out as a federal government, even without the support of the federal government, and really the other. You don't need permission from the president. 
Donc, tout, donc on a trouvé un tour en Africa, et nous avons fait des crimes à Pépou. Nous avons trouvé des présidents qui vont du matin. Et ça, il y a des crimes à Pépou. Il y a des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Ils ne sont pas en train de se faire. Il va y avoir une des gouvernances. I will return to my state. I will, get, I will arm you. I will arm everybody to go after this class. That's what I will do. We should stop talking around this issue. We should start, we should stop, we should stop romanticizing criminality and, and, and terrorism because we want to please anybody. Ah. Oh, well, the, ah. the angle oui. you, you spoke about with regards. Well, your, from your perspective, you know, the uh, wanting to please uh, the presidency or, you know, seeking a second term, um, it, it, those, those are really, really strong uh, statements. Um, I'm not sure if, you know, a lot of people would agree with that. Um, but at the same time, you know, if you read through the report, there's also been talks of, you know, trying to build a harmony between uh, the Fulani settlers and, of course, the uh, um, Oshun State uh, indigenes. Uh, so, you know, do you think that's also important in this conversation? Do you think that there's ways that they can also build and make a lot better the relationship between the indigents and the um, Fulani settlers? These uh, still are others. There is no, you cannot make peace with the devil. It will break the agreement. They will pretend that they've had you. They will pretend that they are sorry. But in the next two days, they are coming after you. There will be more death, there will be more destruction. Go and study the history of others all over West and Central Africa. Ghana arose and dealt with their menace decisively. Yeah. But, but, but Mr. Debayo, not we every... Not every... At the top there. Yeah, Mr. Adebayo, what I'm trying to point out is not every uh, Fulani settler is a herder. Not all of them... Uh, is necessarily moving cattle. And at the same time, even those who are moving cattle, not all of them are violent or killers. Um, so there has to be a way of identifying those who have continued to maintain law and order in the place where they've been made welcome. And also I've been able to, you know, point out the fact that there is certain, you know, um, numbers in, in the, these persons who have been violent, who are bandits, who are killers. Um, so, don't you think it's also important that they're able to accommodate those who choose to live in peace with other, you know, indigenous national state? I, I have no problem with uh, those who live in peace with their hosts. But look, have you seen the arrogance of Miyeti Allah claiming that the bushes of Hondo, the forest of Hondo, were inhabited by Fulani and that before the Yoruba people were, there, were ever there. Uh, did you listen to their language, the, 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 their statement that the Fulani owned the whole of Nigeria? Did you hear their, their, their threat to the uh, Benue State governor and how they have been carrying out their threats? We, I don't want us to particularize this issue about a few, maybe a significant few who are living peacefully with their host. Right. We are talking a part, we are talking about a pandemic of violence and bloodshed by killer adults. You know, I try to refrain from referring to them as full of me because I, I just want to say killer adults. I am not we are not talking about those who live in peace. We are talking about those who are killing people. Yeah. Okay. And we are saying that the only solution to that we are either you are living peacefully or you are a violent or terrorist character, stop open gracing. Simple as a BC. That is, we are looking for a solution to a major problem. Stop open gracing. Right. And force open, and force ban on open gracing. Not identifying who is this, who is that. Just ban it. All right. Mr. Adebayo, uh, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thanks for thank speaking you. with us. I will wish you thank a, you, a peaceful day ahead. Yeah. All right. Democracy Day, June 12, uh, that's our next conversation. We're going to be speaking with Dele Farotimi uh, to speak on, you know, Nigeria celebration, the talks of protests in here and there, of course, uh, heavy security presence that might be uh, spread across the country to, you know, address protesting. We'll be back after the short break.